So today's lesson is all about your eyes. Now, golfers will have tendencies with their eyes which influence their swing path or swing direction. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about what the ideal position to have the eyes is to give you a neutral path, but also we'll talk about maybe if you wanted to hit a draw or a fade, things you could do to kind of cheat that or to basically influence that. So you get that inside path or outside path by just moving the way in which your eyes are orientated at address. I'm gonna show you a little trick, a little way of measuring this and monitoring this by using the cap. Keep watching to find out how. So what we're gonna use is just a cap and we've got a stripe on it underneath and on top just for the camera really the top one is, the underneath one's for me. So when I've got the cap on my head, I can see this aluminum stripe. Obviously if my head's are tilt, my eyes are tilted to the right, obviously this stripe moves. If they're tilted to the left, the stripe moves. So when the stripe is on top of the ball, that's pretty much what we're looking for for a neutral path, okay? Let's get stuck into it. So, as I've said already, I'm gonna take my dress position quite naturally, and then I'm gonna look at where the stripe is in relation to the golf ball and see if I'm fairly happy with it. And for me, from where I see this, this looks pretty neutral. If my eyes were to the right, as I've already said, this would then not line up, and I'd see disparity between the stripe and the ball, and vice versa this way. So what we're looking for to be neutral is to get this stripe on top. So if it was on top, and then what we can do is we're making practice swings, we can also see if it moves too much as well. So in the downswing, again, it wants to be pretty much on top. If my head was going like this to the right, the stripe would start to move, but that'd be something we probably wouldn't be able to monitor whilst we're hitting shots. It'd be something we might video and then look at it afterwards to see how my eyes have moved during the swing. And I know my head does this a little bit during the swing. I know that. Let's go ahead and hit one. Okay, so that was what I'd feel would be a pretty standard shot. So, it was useful to make sure my head was in the right place at address, having a stripe, but I know mine's pretty good anyway. I've got lots of faults in my swing, but I wouldn't call that as one of them. Now, if I was trying to hit a draw shot, and this is really the lesson from this today, is I would take my address as normal. Then I'm gonna make this stripe go to the right and sit on an angle that is now influencing the path to be to the right. This is a cheat. Now I'm gonna swing pretty naturally from there. Okay, so I didn't hit that one great, but the ball went to the right. So I definitely had a more inside path to produce that ball flight. If the ball had sliced to the right, then I might not have done. But definitely to get a push to the right, I have to have a more inside path. Now, if I wanted to have a fade, I would do the complete opposite to that. So again, set to address, neutral, move the head on the angle the opposite way. That was quite nice. Strike again could have been a bit better, but in terms of the ball flight, it had a tiny, tiny bit of fade on it. So again, if I'm looking to fade one into a, a back right flag, I can just work on my eye tilt and it will influence that. If I want to draw one, I can work on my eye tilt and it influence that. And if I want to make sure I'm just doing the right things to hit a straight shot, again, I can just check where it is. I can also use the video camera to see how my eyes are moving during the swing by using the stripe to give myself some feedback on how my neck and head are working from a technical aspect during the swing. Difficult for me wearing a cap, I never wear a cap, so that felt a bit weird. And if you've watched my video for a while, you'll know I never have a cap on. So my head feels quite hot now, unusually, but that was a bit different. Anyway, your eyes have a key influence on your swing direction at the bottom of your swing. So if we're looking to get neutral shots, let's get neutral eyes. If we're looking to get more from the inside and we're struggling to do it by shallowing the club correctly, for whatever reason. Let's have a go cheating a bit with our eyes for a few shots and see if it gives us some vital feedback and feels to help influence that for the future. 
So if you've enjoyed today's video, please click like and share the video. It really helps if you can do that. Also, please post any comments, questions, or feedback down below. I really welcome really requests for videos. That helps me take the channel in the direction that you're gonna watch more videos and really helps the video grow and get, get better responses. Lastly, thank you for watching today. Thank you for joining me on my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit my logo and that'll make you subscribe. And also hit the notifications button as well. Otherwise, YouTube won't tell me, won't tell you when I've released a new video. So thanks for joining me at the Forest of Arden. See you again here real soon.